Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a certified galactic astrology soul reader and Reiki master teacher. Thank you so much for being here with me today when we will be discussing this amazing transit that's upcoming. It's the North Node conjunct Chiron and Aries dreaming in the new healed timeline. Unlock your right to exist, to be seen, heard, felt, and take up space with galactic astrology and Reiki. This video is inspired by, and it's to talk more about this class that I will be offering on February 19th with this title that is taking place exactly at the moment when this transit will be exact. So in this video, I want to share with you some of why this is so important, what the North Node in Aries is about, Chiron and Aries, them all being together, what that's about, why this is so important now. It's not just about, you know, now until February 19th and just the month of February or just the next couple months. This energy is much bigger. This is the beginning. This is a potent healing moment for us to really get the Aries energy right, heal the Aries archetype. Now, Chiron is about healing and revealing your innate ability to heal yourself and be a healing light in the world for others. Chiron is the teacher, the healer, the mentor with a beautiful mythology that I will be sharing more of that with you in the class. But yeah, let's let's get into it just a little bit, a little mini edition here. So Chiron and Aries, I've got the dates for this transit. So you can see if you were born from 1969 to 1976, and then another period from 1976 to 1977, then you have your Chiron in Aries. And Chiron returned into the sign of Aries in 2018. It came in, went back into Pisces due to its retrograde cycle, and then re-entered Aries and has been in Aries consistently since February 18th, 2019. And this is a transit. We're all in. We are all healing Chiron, the Aries archetype right now. Everybody on planet Earth in a human body from a Western tropical astrological perspective. So what is this all about? Well, it's about, it is about our right to exist. It is about our right to take up space. Everybody has a Chiron somewhere in their chart. And that shows you some of the archetypal qualities and themes that are very significant for your generation, for those born in Chiron in that zodiac sign. So it's very important. It's part of our healing story. It can be a, a core trauma, a core wound that we have, each of us as individuals, and then a collective that's born in that period around you that there's this whole like soul group. It's like a Chiron soul group that's working on healing a specific theme. So your Chiron might be in Aries. It might be in another sign. My Chiron, for example, is in the sign of Cancer. And even though my Chiron natally is in the sign of Cancer, right now with the transits, I'm being invited into the Chiron and Aries healing lesson. So each of us, even if you aren't born during the time Chiron was in Aries, we're all being called into this healing. And that is 
emphasize, and I mean clearly, the the astrology could not be more clear that this is important right now because the north node of the moon has been in Aries since July 17th of last year, and it will be moving through Aries until January 11th. 2025. And so wherever the north node of the moon is pointing at in terms of the zodiac signs, it's like an arrow, I'm showing you on another side, pointing directly into the archetypal energy. We're really being asked to embrace this sense of independence and freedom and pioneering also has been one of the core themes that's been really coming up with this Aries energy. Aries is initiatory. It has so much energy. It's ready to start new projects and try new ways and be a pioneer, be the first one. It's a sign of individuality as well a fire sign, like this beautiful sacred fire image here on the screen, cardinal initiatory. So it's act now, think later, clear, direct, just going for it. We're all needing to embrace a bit more of that. And in a healed way where it's not a competitive or warlike Aries, because that is a shadow expression of Aries, which is a sign ruled by planet Mars. So the north node of the moon in Aries is saying, yes, be an individual, be sovereign, be free, be a pioneer. The south node of the moon in Libra is saying, and be in right relationship and be all about peace not people pleasing, not having no boundaries and being a doormat. So being sovereign in your Aries and being an empowered vehicle for peace, that south node in Libra. So you can check as well if you were born during these periods, your north node will also be in Aries. So this will be extra significant for you, this transit. But this transit is significant for everyone on planet Earth. But if you have any planets or points at all in Aries, so Sun, Moon, Mercury, Mars, any any of your planets, any of your angles, Aries rising, Aries midheaven, Aries descendant. I have an Aries I see, for example, and this transit. This will be occurring in a particular house in your chart. So in the class, I will let you know if you don't already know which house this transit is occurring in so you can understand which areas of your life those healing themes are being very, very activated and bringing into your awareness that now is the time to heal, to release, to transmute to be free and embrace your new heal timeline within that area. This is the chart of this transit north node conjunct Chiron in Aries, which is exact at 1043 a.m. Hawaii time on February 19th, 2024. So you can adjust to your time zone to see when this transit is exact. And like I said, it's like a giant astrological arrow pointing us to this Chiron healing Aries archetype, the North Node saying this is what's necessary for our soul growth as individuals, as a collective, to incorporate and heal and become the teachers, become the mentors, become the students of a new way of life, a pioneering way of life. And like I said, this isn't just one and done, okay, the month of February. This energy is also very highlighted in the upcoming total solar eclipse on 
April 8th, which is at 19 degrees Aries and 22 minutes. So you can look in your chart, see if you have anything at that degree point, and it will be conjunct Chiron. So this is a moment of a big new beginning and very, very potent healing. So this transit that I'm talking about February 19th, it's like, this is the prep. <laughs> This is laying the ground, laying the foundation. This is putting a certain frequency in place so that in this total solar eclipse, this can really ripen, this can really express in a very beautiful and magnificent Aries way, rather than in a shadow Aries way, more competition, more war, more fighting, combat, and so on. And it's not just about this year and this upcoming eclipse. Like I said, the nodes of the moon are in Aries until January of 2025. And Chiron will be in Aries until it starts moving out in 2026. But we also have two other big players here. Saturn and even bigger player, Neptune, also moving into the sign of Aries. Neptune dips in first March 30th of 2025, followed by Saturn May 24th, 2025. Neptune's going to be in Aries for quite a long time, 2025 to 2039. Saturn spends less time in signs because it's closer into the sun, it's closer to the earth, its orbital period is only 28 to 30 years. So Saturn moves through Aries from May 24th, 2025 into April 12th, 2028. So it's in for shorter, but we're having these big Aries energies coming down the pipe beginning next year beginning next year. This is huge. And it's really building up to this conjunction that personally I'm very, very excited about. It's Saturn conjunct Neptune and Aries. And this is happening in 2026. So time traveling forward here into our future planet Saturn conjunct planet Neptune in the sign of Aries in 2026. And this is a very special and personal conjunction to myself and many others born in the year 1989, thereabouts. We are the Saturn conjunct Neptune in Capricorn generation. Look and see in your chart, you may have this conjunction. And this is the first time that conjunction will be repeated not in the sign of Capricorn, but in the sign of Aries. So this is quite rare. This is not coming around, but every more than 30 years. So very, very special conjunction in the sign of Aries. So we're really spiritualizing, bringing in levels of spiritual leadership in these next few years that again, this moment now, February 19th, 2024, North Node conjunct Chiron and Aries is preparing us for this larger context of really needing <laughs> each of us to activate our light, to activate our leadership, to activate our pioneering, to activate our independence and our sovereignty so that we can move into this age of Aquarius, we can move into Pluto in Aquarius, we can move into this more collective, this greater and greater collective and global and multidimensional and multigalactic understanding of ourselves as existing in community, as being part of the oneness together and being empowered in our spiritual sovereignty and having our clear sense of knowing thyself, expressing thyself, being thyself fully and taking up space. How many of us light workers and healers and teachers and mentors 
and students of various spiritual practices and traditions are afraid to take up space. We're afraid to speak our truth. We're afraid of the sound of our own voice or, you know, again, to just take up the full space of your body, your energy field, your light, your magnificence, your glory. And we're really being asked to and invited, really supported, very much supported by Chiron in the North Node coming together to offer this healing, this alchemical process of being in our highest leadership and sovereignty expressions right now, taking up our space because we're going to need to be ready. <laughs> to take up our space in the coming years in very empowered, peaceful ways, counterbalancing all of this Aries energy that might highlight in shadow expressions. Right now, we have the opportunity to heal any of those shadow expressions and really step into the higher frequencies of Chiron, the beautiful healer, teacher, mentor, the higher frequencies of Aries, which is all about this unique human experience of having a separate sense of I am presence in this life that's very unique to the human experience, is very unique to our earth experience as well. So I would like to invite you to this empowering healing very unique class that is designed to help you access your inner guidance about this transit, this Chiron, this Aries, this North Node, your particular moment of soul growth at this time to receive the healing and empowerment of Reiki. So there will be astrological and galactic teachings, really diving into this energy in depth, understanding it. And there will also be Reiki healing, a channeled Reiki healing journey where you are receiving that multidimensional healing any place in your soul history. Reiki is scanning you and healing those parts of your life and those parts of your archetypal, psychological, psycho-spiritual makeup structure that you've come in as a soul to heal at this time and really holding you in this safe space and sacred container where you can bring in and reveal your healed timeline because that is all of what this is about. So I hope you'll join me. There's more details on my website, taylornorrisreiki.com. The class is February 19th from 8 to 11 a.m. Hawaii time. I realize that date and time isn't going to work for everybody, but it is when the transit's exact. We will be recording the class, so even if you're unable to attend live, you will receive all of the recordings after the live class is held. You don't need any Reiki experience or astrological training. None of that is required. You come, you come as you are. And like I said, if you don't know where this transit is occurring in your chart or you don't know your Chiron sign and you don't have a copy of your astrological chart, I will be providing that for you if you need that. And this class will also have something for more advanced students as well. So anywhere you are in your astrological training, you're welcome. And again, the Reiki healing is really, really sweet here. This is, is Chiron. It's the healer asteroid. So inviting Reiki to really heal those deep core wounds, even if your Chiron isn't in Aries, this is what that this class is about healing whatever your deepest core wounds are that need healing so you can step into greater levels of empowerment and visibility and clarity and your right to exist and really take up the space of your magnificent soul, which is so much greater than what packs in and fits into this physical body. You are huge, you're magnificent. And you deserve and are worthy 
to know and embody as much of that magnificence, as much of your light, as much as of your sacred fire as possible so that you may shine and thrive and revel in the glory of being you, an earth human, this moment in time on planet earth, living your life, contributing to the new healed timeline for all earth humans, for the whole solar system, and even beyond. The healing we do really has a massive ripple effect. It really, really matters. And it transcends time. I use the word timeline, but it's like, there is no time. So we're working really in the quantum here and inviting something really, really authentic and special and ultimately true and liberating and empowering for you, for each of us, and for the collective humanity. So I hope if this resonates that you will join me, you will join the sacred circle so we come together and really hold in and anchor in the higher frequencies for as I shared with you, for this year, 2024, for 2025, 2026, and even far beyond, this is our moment. So I'm so excited to share the moment with you. And I thank you so much for being part of my soul family and my own healing of my Chiron and Cancer, which is all about the soul family coming together, guiding you home to heaven on earth with Reiki and astrology. Aho, amen, namaste, and so it is. Mahalo.